I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. I think history will look back at this second Elizabethan age and see a period of enormous change. Our society has changed dramatically during the 70 years of her reign. Um, so I think she's played very well exactly the role of a constitutional monarch. She's not got involved in politics. We barely know her. I mean, she's the most charismatic sort of photographed most famous woman in the world, but she's also very enigmatic. We hardly know her. And I think being able to stay above politics, but seen as relevant and respected has been really important. There's no doubt that she will be up there as one of the greatest monarchs, not just for her longevity, but for the, you know, the period of change which she has witnessed. And of course, like Elizabeth I, you know, that Elizabethan age is also um, associated with great explorers and scientists and um, you know, dramatists like Shakespeare. And I think, of course, we can look back to the current Queen's reign and think about explorers and adventurers and scientists and so on who will also be associated with that period. So I think equally seminal um, for, for Britain and also Britain's place in the world. The definition of success for any monarch um, over time is to preserve the monarchy and ensure the succession. I mean, that is the primary job. And that's what she's done. She's maintained the monarchy through a period of unprecedented change. And she's also ensured a line of succession. I hope that um, she will be remembered as somebody who, in terms of public service, was a very good person. Um, I think there is there is great goodness in um, such an extraordinary, glittering inheritance that somehow doesn't turn your head, but um, appears on a, on a daily basis to remind you of the value and privilege of service. Mm -hmm.